guys. Um, we are doing the Kaiser bun today. Um, I named it that uh, because it ended up kind of looking like a Kaiser roll, you know, for sandwiches. So the Kaiser bun. Um, it came about, I had an idea in my head of a hairstyle um, and I tried it and it totally didn't look anything like I thought it was going to look. Um, I don't know. Sometimes that happens. So, uh, but I fiddle with it a little more trying to um, save it and make something out of it. And uh, I came up with this. So, um, yay. Um, there are a few things we're going to go over before we get into the big hairstyle. Um, I, uh, you know, a lot of you guys know that I do blow dry my hair. Not every time I wash it. Um, it used to be about every other time. And now, psh, I don't know, just whenever I feel like wanting it straight. Um, and you should always use you know, uh, some type of heat protectant on it. And my silk drops do protect it um, to a degree, but um, I thought, well, let's see if there's anything else out there. And it just so happens that uh, when I was in the shampoo conditioner aisle at Wally World, um, Aussie had new cool bottles, so I stopped to see what they were. And I found this stuff, um, Aussie Heat Protecting Shine Spray. Um, I know it's mirrored, but you know, you can at least see the shape of the bottle. Um, so any hoodles, if you will look at my hair, um, I have had it braided. I also wore it in this particular hairstyle all day yesterday. And as you can see, it's still straight because I used the stuff when I blew it dry. So that's awesome because, you know, usually once you've braided it for an entire day, um, you've got, it's caked and it stays kind of wavy, you know, until you wash it again. But, um, not so with this stuff. So that's a tip for you guys that actually blow dry straight hair. It's worth it because it keeps it straight. Um, it also is very shiny and soft and it smells good because it's Aussie and all their stuff smells good. Um, yay! So they also had this other stuff called uh, spray gloss, which I will be using today. Um, if you don't mind your hair being oiled up um, or if you do use oil a lot. Um, oil would be the best thing to use, but since I have about three days left until I have to wash my hair again, um, I'm not going to put oil in it now because I don't feel like dealing with oiled hair for three more days. <laughs> so I'm just going to use this stuff. Um, the other two things you're going to need for this particular hairstyle um, is uh, two, actually three things. You'll need two ponytail holders, one for the top because we're starting with a pony. Um, one for the bottom, and you're not going to be able to get away with the clear elastics. You're going to need one a little more substantial, um, and then you're going to need a long hair stick. Um, I'm using a chopstick. This was a chopstick. Um, I took some scotch tape and wrapped around up here, and then I painted the ends with nail polish. That's all that is. And then I sanded it, and I used uh, like the aerosol spray shellac lacquer whatever that stuff is, um, to seal it, doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo, to protect it from, you know, because sometimes I use it when my hair is still wet kind of thing. Um, and it protects your hair because it's really silky smooth. Um, so yeah, you're going to need a long stick. Chopstick is perfect for this. Uh, chopstick or pencil. Um, you will also be able to secure the end style with spin pins um, and big U-pins. You'll probably need four to six U-pins. You can probably get by with two spin pins, but I would use three to four just to make sure. Um, it's kind of a heavy bun, um, although once it's all up, it doesn't feel heavy. Anyways, I'll just show you. So I am going to dampen my hair. Um, like I said, oil would be best, but we're going to use this stuff um, because the technique we're using is ladder technique. Um, it is going to cause a little rubbing your hair to hair. Um, so I would not recommend this hairstyle as an everyday style just because um, repeated use would probably cause damage. Um, just FYI. Okay, so we're going to start with, start with a damp ponytail. It's down. We're going to pull it up in front of our faces. I'm going to run another brush through. Just because. Okay. 
Okay. I'm going to separate. Let me hopefully, you actually, I'm going to back up a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. Separate into two equal sections. Those don't feel equal. I need a little more on the right. There. Two equal sections. <laughs> All right. Now, we're going to take the right over, pull it up through, and tie it. Now, we're going to take the left over, pull it up through, and tie it. Now, the right over, pull it up through, well, make sure you can see. Tie it. The left over. Tie. As you can see, we just keep doing that over and over. Right. Tie. Boop, boop, boop. Left. Tie. Right. Tie. And as you can see, by doing it this way, we end up with fairly even ends by switching back and forth, left, right, left, right. Okay, at the ends, we're going to tie it off. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. All right, as you can probably see, this just ate up every bit of length I have. So you are going to need some length for this one. Um, as you can see, it, yeah, I now have a short ponytail. And yes, in this state, um, since we did do the knot so tightly, it is not very attractive. <laughs> but that's okay, because we're not leaving it like that. All right. You okay, Buddhas? All right. So, our very top tie here, our first loop, if you will. I'm going to put your thumbs up through, and we're going to pull. Um, we're going to make all those knots come down the length. Now, the remainder of this is kind of like the Nautilus. We're going to take our hand, put it through the loop, take the remainder of our tail, and wrap. We'll make a bun. Wrap around the base of that ponytail holder. Hide the ends, grab our bun, and pull our two loops to the outside, like so. Now, we're going to take our stick and lace it through the loops, and here under our hair tie, and hopefully out the other loop on the other side. It is dense in there. So, you know, there we go. All right. And now it should look like a Kaiser roll. I'm going to check and see if it does. It did yesterday. Yep, it still kind of does. Um, it's like fancy bread. So, there you go. La la. With all the loop de loops. I think it looks really cool. Doesn't it? Yeah, and as you can see, it ain't moving. It's very secure. Very secure. So, um, like I said, you're not going to want to use this one every day because of the, uh, the brushing of your hair against each other. But for something different every now and then, I think it works well. Um, it's really cute. And if you don't want to deal with a stick, because, you know, maybe this will be something you want to wear for holidays or something. Um, you can spin pin it, spin pins will hold, um, and the big U-shaped pins should hold it as well. So, there you go. There is the Kaiser bun. La, 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 la. So, anyways, I hope you like that one. I hope you try it. Um, I'm sorry it's one of the ones that takes a lot of hair, but I do have some ladies out there with, you know, 
classic and longer. And this one will be great for them because it will eat up so much length um, to start with. And that way they won't have, you know, miles of hair to keep wrapping in a bun. <laughs> I'm actually expecting my friend Jamie Burnett will like this one very much. So we will see. Alrighty. Um, until next time, have a great day. Bye. Oh, hey, I almost forgot. See these nails? This tutorial will be up later today. Um, it's the first of the holiday nails. This is the more abstract one, the easiest one we're going to do. Um, at least I think it's the easiest one we're going to do. Woo. Anyways, yeah, look for that. Uh -huh. um, by the way, this wasn't one of the promised holiday hairstyles. This was just something I made up. Um, I have to go get some pretty ribbon. So, any hoodles, um, yeah.